Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I hope you're having an amazing day to this video where we're taking a look at something really special. So this is Auction OS 11 right from the OnePlus set onto our K20 Pro. Now I said right from it cause it's a complete Snapdragon 865 vendor. Again, one of my favorite devs, ProtoDev Nano J has helped importing the vendor completely, which has also got this running on a Redmi Note 9 S or the Redmi Note 9 Pro in India. And again, he has helped the developers like the team Evelyn, which has been keeping up with the auction OS for the K20 and the K20 Pro. There are some other developers which are keeping up with the hydrogen OS, but these are the ones which have been providing us the global updates. And this is quite something special. So this is still a tester like port. There are not a lot of things that are working right over here, which are needed in order for the daily driver usage. But this is one of the first ports from open beta 2 of Android 11 for the OnePlus set. And let's just take a look. So again over here, the home screen looks quite new. Yeah, finally I have to say that. I mean, the icon layout and stuff is pretty much the same, but the launcher itself does actually look special cause it's from OnePlus set. So you do get shelf right over here, which again has very brilliant animations. Like this does actually lag on a Redmi Note 9 Pro, but on the Snapdragon 855 as you can see very smooth experience again some of the widgets have been upgraded over here again the icon pack does actually look quite cleaner than before then again if you just go over here you do have your normal google now with language options right over there and your quick settings panel so again over here as you can see very clean looking and again they have completely done with the colorful theme now you just get white and black cause of the framework quite dark mode so they have to just completely bail on it so there you go dark mode completely switching up looks quite nice again you have a lot of features again just from android 11 like the nearby share and stuff but a lot of the things have been minimized again you have the zen mode right over here which again looks very beautiful than before i haven't actually tried this one but you can create a room join a room and enjoy a life like that's really neat what's the lesser one minute I'll just try that later on, but let's just go back. You have all the apps just completely remembered for the taller displays. I mean, many of the people said it's a copy of One UI, then again, it's just a waste of space. But honestly, it does look quite beautiful and quite different than One UI. Font scaling is not that good on the One UI, but as you can see, it completely scales over here, looking very beautiful. If you have a higher hertz display, then again, you have history, all the contacts and stuff. Like, look at that scaling. It's so beautiful. Like, this is my first time seeing Auction OS 11 on any phone. And first impressions quite good, even from the open beta. Again, this is the messages, very beautiful UI for it. You have camera, which is completely broken. You also have the gallery, which again, you can just scroll around like this. Again, you can look at the UI right over here. Very beautiful. So directly coming back, quite deep loaded ROM, like you have the normal calculator. And let's just try one plus. There you go, never settle as before. Then again, you have calendar, camera, again, Gcam just completely works fine, but the pop-up camera and everything has not been fixed at all. This is just a tester build. So again, if you want the pop-up camera, you have to manually go over here, like a K20 camera control app, pop it up, like set cam in, pop up, there you go, take back. If you want to use the front camera, no, you can't set a macro droid template right over here. For some odd weird reason, it just doesn't work. Then again, video recording is just completely broken as you can see. But the camera functions do actually work quite well. Again, the auxiliary cameras are just completely dead, which are quite simple to fix considering how professional the devs are. So again, you have the card package right over here. This might come in handy. And then you have Chrome, clock, contacts, everything has been just updated a bit. As you can see, looks quite clean. Then you have magics completely working fine. So this build can be routed with the latest magic scanner builds. So that's nice. Again, you have messages, notes, like the latest notes does actually have quite useful features. Again, the keyboard looks really nice. You have OLED server for DC dimming, phone app, just normal stuff. Again, the weather app looks quite similar as before. Just the animations are a bit upgraded. Again, might look very beautiful on a higher hertz display and just talking about the UI, everything is just basically the same from the OnePlus set launcher. Even the volume panel doesn't really have a lot of UI change. So really going down to the settings app looks really plain as you can see, no colors at all. It's just the maroon and black theme. So daily going through the stuff, if you just go to the display, you have comfort, which I think is just completely broken. You have advanced, which has screen calibration, screen hertz, let's just set it to 60 for lesser animation glitches. Again, you have the vision comfort right over here. So again, a lot of eye candy features. Again, you can control the lightness, which is just completely broken, I guess, or with the DC dimming. But yeah, completely works fine. So you have the reading mode, dark mode again. You don't get any fancy animations for it, but just a normal dark mode. Again, it's very utilized. 
so it just blows up some of the parts which are just completely dark like the wallpaper and stuff into the quick settings panel so really nice implementation then you have the vibrant color effect which is again just broken as a port you have ambient display so always on display just completely works fine in this build so that's really amazing because that's one of the highlight features of auction OS 11 so double tap to show or tap to screen show has been just completely messed up over here so you have the horizon light which I haven't tried but if you want to look at the always on display you have to just lock the phone and if you have this enabled there might be some issues in waking up the device again until the clock shows up so again it looks really nice as you can see but there you go very beautiful animations so coming back you have display scaling status bar normal stuff even if you go to the customization it looks hella ugly than before like the earlier customization was far more better so if you just go to the wallpapers and stuff you have all the live wallpapers from the oneplus set and they do really work very smoothly unlike any other ports which do have a lot of lag so let's just test this one as you can see as i have the always on display enabled it won't unlock until the aod just enables itself so we have to just wait there you go unlock the phone very smooth you have to watch this video in 1080p 60fps to feel it then again you have system icons all the stuff from overlay as you can see but the layout just looks very ugly and then you have the fingerprint animation which is just completely broken of course this rom currently it doesn't have any kind of biometric security even the face unlock so coming down security lock screen just pretty much nothing even with the privacy you just get normal android 11 features and if you go to the battery the ui looks quite beautiful than before you have reverse charge oh i didn't know oneplus has this that's cool so coming back you have digital well-being and parental controls which do actually get normal ui unlike another os you have utilities which again has a reply and landscape oneplus lab which still has dc dimming but it does have fresher photos with the white ui looks quite cool then again just lastly system which has a ram boost as normal you have power of right over here for some odd weird reason experience improvement program normal stuff that you get and about phone section again this one looks quite ugly i don't know why they just went with the list view the earlier grade one was looking just fine but, but snapdragon 865 again a complete one plus eight port and yeah that's pretty much it if you want to install it it's quite literally simple but you have to format your whole data yes i completely recommend it even though the rom just can boot fine without it so you have to just go to your twrp recovery again this is your newer power menu just go to your recovery by pressing power and volume up at the same time once that is done you have to just go to wipe format data type in yes right over here to just completely clean your phone there you go again go to wipe advanced wipe just wipe everything to make sure all the partitions are clean and then you have to just go to backup and backup anything small like the dtbo so it just registers a partition for restore and then hop onto your pc go to the to our backup folder and delete all the files and just copy over this boot system and vendor for your k20 pro come back to the phone restore it wait for the restoration the system is quite big and then flash the latest magic scannery and immensity kernel for optimum stability of the os and that's basically it it should reboot you onto the latest auction OS 11 from the OnePlus set. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you found this helpful, please drop a like and do share this video with your device groups and everything. If you want this port to be available on your phone as soon as possible, I would make a request and see you guys in the next one. Peace.